Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iPhone hacks and tricks that every iOS user must know in 2023. These are super cool and of course most of them are actually very very useful so you must know them and actually use them on your device in 2023. Now before we get into the video, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not yet subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. And we're starting things off with the first one. You know that on iOS, you can change the default browser of your device. Well, you can do that for your email as well. So anytime you want to send an email, the default app will be the one that you choose, not the stock mail app of iOS. I know a lot of users prefer like Gmail and other apps. So the way to do that, you head on to your settings and you find the app that you want to use. In this case, here I have Outlook and I can go ahead and change to this app as a default app. Here it will say default mail app. I can tap on it and I have two options here. I can choose Outlook instead of the mail app of iOS. On the iOS, using the Shortcuts app, you can create a speed dial for your home screen. So let's say you have a contact that you want to have access to a quick call or maybe a quick message. You can have that as an icon on the home screen of your device simply by creating a shortcut. All you have to do is just tap the plus button on the Shortcuts app and then from here, search for call. So once you select call, all you have to do is just tap on where it says contact and choose the contact you want to call. So just like that, you choose the contact. Now what you can do is also tap right there to rename it and maybe name it by the name of the contact. And once you're done with all that, all you have to do is tap on the done button. And from here, tap right there and you can go ahead, tap on the share button and add this to your home screen. So you will have now an icon to quickly call or message that contact. So when you're searching on your device, you can do that, of course, using Safari, going to google.com and searching anything you want, or just from the search bar from Safari, which uses Google as the default. But you can actually do that from the spotlight search as well. Whether you be on your home screen or lock screen without having to go to your home screen at all, you can just type anything you want to search. You tap that little button right there and it will show you the results and you will have here also suggestions. So if you want to show more, you tap right there and it will show you all the results so you will basically have google right on your spotlight search so you will have related searches as well if you want to go to one of them you tap there and it will google that for you and show you the results you're looking for directly from the spotlight search if you use the voice memo of ios and you have like voice recordings there you want to share them with someone what you can do is actually just drag these voice recordings and i can now send this on an iMessage so i get out of here I can go to iMessage and just simply drag it here, release it, and I can send this voice memo as a file here on the iMessage app. Now, it will work with a lot of other apps, like you can save it to the files, you can send it on an email, all you have to do is just go ahead and drag it from the voice memo app and you're good to go. If you use the calendar app of iOS, the default calendar app, did you know that you can change the alert times for your events? So head on to your settings, go under calendar, and right here what you will find is default alert times. So we have we have here all day events, events, and birthdays as well. So what you can do is go ahead and choose when you want to be notified for a birthday that you have set on your calendar. Now what you can do here is go for one day, one day before, two days before, or a week before. So you will have all these kinds of different options that you can set. And for events, you can see you have even more. You can have like a 50, five minute before, 15 minutes, an hour, two hours a day, two days up to a week before. You can go ahead and be notified for those events at any time that you select. Here's a really useful iPhone trick that I believe every iPhone user must know. So a lot of times we will put our devices on mute, maybe you just don't want to be bothered or maybe you're just taking a nap or something like that, you have your device on mute. But of course, all of us have those really, really important contacts on our device that we want them to be able to reach us at any time of the day. Now what you can do about that is go ahead and open that contact card tap on the edit button and from here make sure you go ahead and choose ringtone tap on ringtone where you can also change and set a specific ringtone for that certain contact 
but what I'm talking about here is the emergency bypass button. You enable that and that allows sounds and notifications, vibrations from that contact to come through even though your device might be muted. So this is really, really important. So if you have, of course, everyone has those kinds of contacts, make sure you go ahead and do this and that contact will be able to reach you at any time of the day. Here's a really cool hack for when you don't have enough storage on your device. How many times did you try to take a picture and it says storage full? Well, the way to bypass that is actually to take a picture using another app like Instagram or Snapchat. You will be able to actually take pictures with those apps, even though your device's storage it says that it is full and it won't allow you to do that through the camera app. So the way to basically bypass that is using a third party app, like maybe Instagram or Snapchat or Facebook, whatever you use, take the picture with that app and you're good to go. When you're sending an attachment on the mail app, whether that be a PDF file or maybe an image, you can actually mark it up. Now the way it works, simply tap on that, like whatever you're sending an, e an image or a PDF file, you can actually select that and then you will have this button right here. Tap on there and it will take you to this interface from where you can actually mark it up or maybe if it's, a, it's in a PDF file, you can just like do a signature or whatever you want. And then of course you can send it, edit it like this. You tap on done, everything is saved and you can go ahead and say, send your file or your PDF file with the marked up additions that you have done as easy as that. Now here are some very useful toggles that you can add to the home screen of your iOS 16 device. Now these right here, restart and shutdown. Now shutdown is a new one that Apple has added with iOS 16.4. It will be available to everyone very soon, but you can add the restart, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, and other toggles as well. So you know that on iOS, when you go to your control center and turn off the Bluetooth, it's actually not turned off, it's just disabled and it will be enabled automatically. So if you want to completely turn it off, you can use this toggle. For example, I tap there and in a second I have their Bluetooth completely turned off. Now the way this works is of course by simply using the shortcuts app and creating these very useful toggles. So here I have four of them that I use restart, shutdown, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well. So the way to create these pretty simple. Restart, shut down, all you have to do is just go ahead, tap right there on the plus button and search here for shutdown. So if I search for shutdown, in this case on iOS 16.4, it will show you this. On iOS 16.3, just search for restart. I can tap there and choose whether I want to shut down or restart based on which toggle I'm creating. And then they tap the done button and we're good to go. We go ahead and share it right here and add it to the home screen. And we can even, of course, customize that little icon right there. Now for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you will have to actually search again here. So if I search for Wi-Fi in this case, I tap there. And what I need to do is tap on there and choose what I want to do with that toggle. Well, whether I want to turn it off or turn it on using the toggle and you're good to go. Again, go ahead and add it to your home screen and you're done. And last but not least, I will show you guys how to get icons on your home screen, custom icons and without labels as well. So head on to Safari and just go to this link that I will leave right down below in the description of the video. Once you go here, head on to this section where it says browse by themes and right here you will find cool themes that you can install on your iPhone and you can also remove the labels from them which is really awesome. So you will have here a lot of different themes. You will have the newest so you go ahead and choose here most popular so you will get some, some better ones and here we have a lot of different themes that we can download on our device. So if we want to download any of these all we have to do is tap right there. It will show us the icons here so let's go to application icons and then what we can do here is just go ahead and select which icons we want to add so what you need to do here is just go ahead and select the icons right here you can see where it says the name we can just tap the x button that way it will actually remove the labels from those icons once we have done that we can tap on generate theme it will actually create this profile tap on allow right there and go to your settings and install the profile so once you go to your settings tap on install enter your passcode and once you have entered the passcode you install the profile and that way you also have the icons here 
which again have no labels and they look really really cool on the home screen of your device now this is just an example you can browse there are a ton of themes with a lot of custom icons that of course have no labels as well and they look pretty cool so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you did don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one